Matas Pesa and not Pesa. And with me in studio, two amazing people. I will start with the lady on my immediate right. Her name is uh, uh, Anne Wambui Gaitha, founder Regal, the CEO Regal, uh, Regal Africa Group, and Patrick Mumu, uh, the gentleman from, si is it Saiton or Siton? Saiton. Saiton, yes. Now you, I know how to pronounce that word, Saiton. Saiton Investments. Good to have you in studio. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You guys look great. Thank you. Wonderful smiles. I, <laughs> I, I, I was just observing you uh, when, uh, when I was taking the break and just seeing a lot of optimism. Um, the question then begs, what's, are, we, are we going to be optimistic that our pockets will be well, um, will be full? Because that's what Kenyans want to hear this first month of the year. It's in January. I'll start with you, sir. Um, yes, it's a very tough month given that people have come from festivities and now people are um, entering, trying to get back on track in terms of um, maybe coming to work, saving, and it can be very hard, especially the month which has um, 60 days as people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, the key thing is just being disciplined and yes. trying to pass the month. Then, as the year comes back, um, as businesses um, um, start to thrive following a tough election year, then I think we should should be okay in the coming mm. year. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what do, what about you? I'm very optimistic about 2018. Um, I also think it's a good time for people to start changing that culture of thinking that January we should be suffering. We need to come up time in this country where we know Christmas is not a surprise. January is not a surprise. Right. So we need to plan beforehand. We need to know that by the time January comes around, we mm. have the money that we should be spending in January. Mm. So I think it's a question we should be having about changing that culture in this country. Okay, good. Now, I, I obviously made an intro just to say who you are, or rather just to say mention your names, okay, where you're from, ETC. But I'd like to know a little bit about you. I'll start with you ladies first. And Regal, what do you do for them? I know you're the CEO, but what happens there? Okay. Well, Regal Africa, we are a diversified financial service company. We mm -hmm. offer financial services and real estate yes. to our clients, basically individuals, businesses, institutions. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to help our clients create wealth. Basically, what goal is to help clients create wealth. Yes. That's music to my ears. Yes. So a lot of people... Uh, have never been taught how to create wealth, mm. right? We mm. only know how to go get a job and make money and then maybe buy a few plots here and there. But no one has actually sat down oh, and with us. and have a wedding in the end. Yes, <laughs> and a few babies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, so at Regal Africa, we yes. basically talk to our clients and facilitate where to invest, what to do about pension, retirement planning, about insurance and asset planning. And we really focus on real estate and agribusiness and alternative investments. So we actually work with our clients to actually understand what their financial goals are mm. so that we work with them on that journey to create wealth. For the Slay Queen who's watching this show, what is alternative business? Okay. Well, alternative business means anything outside the ordinary, right? So most people, when they invest, they look at traditional markets. So they mm. look at the bond market, they look at equities, they look at putting money in the bank. So alternative is anything outside what normally people do. So, so I can invest, say, for example. Okay. So alternative, we look at things like real estate, we look at things like structured notes, we look at things like agribusiness, commercial agribusiness, mm. we look at angel investing, we look at investing in venture capital, we look at private placements, just anything outside the norm is what we consider alternative investments. Wonderful. Right, what about you? What happens at Saiton? Um, Saiton are an alternative investment manager, mm. um, primarily dealing in real estate and private equity. Those are the two um, key areas where we we specialize. We're headquartered here in Nairobi. We have offices also in um, USA and through our partner, um, Taleri in Finland. Mm. So um, uh, mainly focus on serving high net worth individuals and retail clients through a um, different structured product tailored to suit um, these clients' needs, but primarily with real estate and um, private equity. Are two. both of you, are you, are you in competition? Um, actually, I could bring a street in a place of wall, it's okay. Or do you complement each other? I believe we complement each other. Mm. Uh, I've been working in the industry for a very long time, and what I found out is there are different investment funds, you know, they are the Cytons, they are yeah. licensed fund managers, yeah. but people are not aware about them. So we at Regal actually don't 
take our clients' money and manage it. What we do mm. is understand what the investment goals are, and then we place them into the right products. So does it mean that we tell them to invest in Cyton, or do we tell them to invest in other licensed fund managers, mm -hmm. or do we tell them to invest in banks? We are the decision channel of where to invest. Not in competition, we're actually complementary. Wonderful. Sure. Yes. Enjoy the biscuits. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right. Now, I want to dig straight into the 18, and there's so many books that are empty. Everyone is writing their New Year's resolutions, myself included. Now, you're in the studio with me talking about finances. What would be the most lucrative um, venture to jump into for an investment? Should I want to go that direction? My notebook's empty. Tell me. <laughs> okay, I'll start. There are very many different lucrative investment options. The mm -hmm. question is, are you willing to take the risk? I'm ready. So most people... I can tell you for a fact, being working with a lot of us as Kenyans, we want really good returns, but we are not willing to take the risk, or we are not willing to stay a long time into the market. Mm. So if someone is willing to take a risk, meaning they could lose their money, yeah. or they will need to keep their money and not take it out within three to five years, mm -hmm. then their investments where they can get more than 20% per annum. But if somebody is looking, which most people are very conservative, so they're looking for about, you know, they don't want to lose money, they want to be able to access it any time. Mm. We specialize in money markets and fixed incomes, mm -hmm. and we can get them 10, 12, 13%, but, you know, no risk, no return. No risk, no return. Yes. Three years. I'll come back to you. What about you, sir? Mm, I'd agree because um, there are two broad categories of investments, as she mentioned, the traditional ones and the alternative investments. Mm -hmm. And you find the traditional ones are quite liquid. In the stock market, you can go and sell stock right now if you want. You can go to the secondary bond market and trade bonds. So they're quite liquid. But you have these alternatives like private equity, real estate. Yeah. It takes time to um, develop the return. But once you develop that particular return, it's quite higher than what you'd otherwise get in the traditional investments. For example, real estate has offered returns of up to 25% over the last five years per mm. annum. Yeah. Yeah, so compared to the equities market, where it's around, probably NASI has gained 10% on an annualized basis. Yeah. It's quite high when you compare the two. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm watching you as a viewer, and indeed, there is my viewer who's watching you. They're hearing percentage, equity, big words, big words. But I'll still break it down for them because, hey, you know what? They're also part of us. Now, I have a million Bob Kenya shillings, and I want to uh, lock it for the next three years. Should I buy a shamba, or should I walk into your office and you put it in the you know, money markets, I don't know, everything that you've talked about. This is what I want to hear okay. from you. Right. Um, if a client walked in and they say they have a million shillings, I'll yeah. just use what you said, mm -hmm. we first understand their risk tolerance. We look at their time horizon, which you said it's three years, mm -hmm. right? And then from that, we then be able to tailor what is best for them. Mm. If they're looking to bring something for at least three years, mm. we have some agri-business uh, opportunities whereby they could actually put it in an agroforestry or a plantation where after, you know, five years, they could actually be able to be getting double their money, you know, within a certain time. We have opportunities in private placements um, whereby, you know, we have uh, a company called uh, Adopt a Driver where you put in a million shillings, someone gets an Uber or a taxi fare, mm -hmm. and you make, you know, 18 to 20 percent per per annum. Mm -hmm. um, there are opportunities in real estate. So if they have a million shillings, I can get you into a down payment into a house in, you know, the Nairobi metropolitan area mm -hmm. where you'll still be getting about 30, 35 uh, thousand Kenya shillings a month. So yeah. we're able to put in investments that will get you good returns. Agribusiness, Uber driver, now you're yes. And we're looking and at... In private placements, we have companies that are in the energy space mm. who are looking and the minimum criteria, because you have to be a sophisticated investor, is a million shillings. But you can't get that money out at least for three to five years. I'll that's the catch. I'll come back to you three to five years because that's yes. also a major factor considering that we're getting into an election five years from now, whether we like it or not. Sir, what about you? You come from Seaton Investments. Obviously, you'd say, no, come to our office. <laughs> come with your million Bob Kenya shillings. Would there be another alternative, uh, anything apart from what she, she, she's talked about? Um, probably getting um, involved in a structured solution. Mm -hmm. A structured solution is uh, basically a product which is tailored to balance the attributes of an um, alternative investment and a yeah. traditional investment. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting all your money in the alternatives, you might want to put a certain percentage in um, 
traditional investments, maybe 40%, another 60% in um, the alternative market space so that you can balance your return profit. Yeah. So we offer a solution which can give you a structured product mm. in that you can balance your risk return, have um, a good return on your investment, yeah. and as well, you're not, um, your hands are not full into the water. Mm. So there are different structured solutions which can be tailored towards the clients. And it all depends on the client um, risk profile, how long they're investing, um, they are willing to invest, if they want um, a return, some form of liquidity, whether it's monthly, um, semi-annually or annually. So there are different things you have to conduct before um, considering what client or what opportunity you'll give to this um, particular client. It's all about assessing the client and understanding the client first before you, you propose a solution. Both of you have painted a very beautiful picture of what one can do with money. Of course, you know, uh, agribusiness, uh, Uber, um, and other businesses. But you've also not looked at the factors that would affect these uh, businesses. For example, it's expected that January is meant to be uh, a very hot season. But right now, we are layering ourselves up with, you know, uh, you'd think we're still in winter with the rest of the world. Um, this is Uber driving. Look, accidents happen, and touch wood, we don't pray for that to happen. But hey, look, there's a wear and tear, tires, uh, I mean, everything, our fuel keeps adulterated from corner to corner. People, are we looking at these um, bits and pieces that can affect and other uh, factors that can affect this beautifully painted picture of how you can spend your money? I think that's why... Uh, we are encouraging Kenyans to actually use professional advisors like mm. ourselves at Regal Africa. Right. Why is because we encourage people to work with professional fund managers or people who do this as a living. Mm. So if you go in and you decide you want to go on your own and you have one or five acres and you want to do agribusiness, mm. it is more risky than if you actually put the money in an agribusiness um, investment option that is being managed by a professional farm operator. Mm. So that's the, that's the challenge right now. A lot of people just invest by themselves, but if you go with a professional fund manager or professional investment person, that is when you reduce the risk. And you just pay a, a little management fee, which is worth it. Uh, but one would say, what do you know about my piece of land? I mean, what background do you have? Are you the chefs who eat their own food? I mean, what, I mean, have you have you touched have you touched uh, other investments that that are, that have turned into gold? Why is mine a gold mine right now? Okay, well, I can, you can go first. Yeah, yeah sure. I, I um, okay. and that's and that is why we, like I said, back to professional fund managers, mm -hmm. they have a track record, track right? Track record. So you always want to look at somebody who has a track record. Maybe not with that particular company, but what they've done in their career. Yeah. So for us, for example, we with Regal, we've been running for the last two and a half years, Correct. and we've been doing research. So mm. when clients come to us, we give them advice based on data, yes. based on what we've been researching. Mm. Because a lot of this information is public information, or you can request it from these companies. Correct. So when somebody comes to us and says, I have this amount of money, I have a million shillings where do we invest, mm. we know who's managing these investments, right. we know their track record, and so by the time we are recommending it, it's because there's data behind it. Okay. We've put that matter to bed. Yes. Okay, sour. <laughs> Just um, to add something Yeah, sure that. you can. Yeah, I'd say um, you might have a piece of land as a client, and, but you don't know how to use it. Yeah, you mm. might have a piece of land. You don't know whether to build apartments, whether to um, have a mixed-use development or... A stadium. Yeah, or a stadium <laughs> on, on that piece of land. So you need a professional to come and tell you, is this land um, adequately qualified for doing residential, for doing... Um, um, a mall retail, so they didn't, and you need a specialist for. It. You can't just have land and decide that I'm going to build a mall on this piece of land. Maybe that yeah. land is not conducive for that. You start construction, and two years later, the government will come and tell you you can't do that. Remove there. So all, all, all of a sudden, all the money you have spent on a certain yeah. development goes to waste because you didn't have the expertise to determine whether this for for construction. So that's what um, investment professionals come in and plug the the gap, the market gap, and try to identify those. Okay, fine. Good. Sour. <laughs> Let's move to the next thing, because my mind is, you know, boiling with all sorts of things. Next thing, which is, at, like, it's like an elephant in the room when it comes to matters financial. I won't even go further. Bitcoin. You've heard about it? Yes. Everyone's talking about it. Yes. Many investment clubs are, are thinking, oh, you know, maybe it's a time we just put uh, our money in some machine and we start, you know, mining bitcoins. What do you know about that? 
Um, with Bitcoin, it has grown very fast over the last um, few years. Um, the problem probably is capacity with Bitcoin. That's the major challenge with Bitcoin. A critical mass, is that what you're saying? Yeah, with, in terms of data um, transferring or transferring um, funds to, from one account to another. You'll yeah. find average transactions on Visa or MasterCard take around, they ca it can process 3,000 trans transactions per second. Bitcoin, on the, on the other hand, can, trans um, can process seven transactions per second, and that's worldwide seven transactions. So it takes a, quite a bit of time and many people have been complaining that it takes a bit of time to um, transfer funds or for funds to reflect on yeah. um, the receivers. And so that's capacity or scaling mm. will be one of the issues concerning Bitcoin. And right now um, the programmers don't have a way of going about it or going around that. They're still trying to um, find a solution for that and that will be the main hindrance of, um, of why these crypto cryptocurrencies don't make it to the next level in terms of replacing the banking system or trying to um, act as a, an alternative to the banking system. Mm. I think Bitcoin is very interesting. I think Bitcoin is the future. The challenge I have with Bitcoin is, like you said, the hype. So everyone is in Bitcoin, everyone is a miner. Mm. And as you said, I think last week, the price went down, it right? Right. So that's the thing, it reminds down, me yeah. of quills. Everybody was <laughs> quail farming, right? <laughs> and, and that is the problem. So yeah. when we talk to our clients, we'll say you want to get into investments, but you don't put all your money in one investment. Right. You need to manage your investment Spread portfolio. Your eggs. And that is the problem that I see that is happening. But Bitcoin is the future. So yes, if you can invest in Bitcoin, surely do that, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. Interesting. Yes. What about Forex, Forex trading? Um, I'm not an expert in forex trading, mm -hmm. and I but you think, hear about it. Obviously. Yes, it yeah. is, and I mean, it's something I've looked into. It's something that you need to have expertise. Mm. So, trying to do it yourself, I don't think it's um, something good because really, you could make a lot of money, you can lose a lot of money. So, if you're not the expert, get someone who's an expert to do it. Okay, good. Yes. Now, I'll bring. A, 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 I'll, I like to go back and forth. And now that we've talked about the alternative business, etc., etc., you talked about locking your money for like four or five years. Right. Elections are going to happen in the next, what, five years? Um, does that mean that I should invest money for only five years and wait for a very dull year, such as 2017, then wait for an election, a pe collection, a pe petition, something of that nature, and then, phew, it's a new 2018. Yay! We've got the money going on. I think you should always be investing. In fact, the people who had money before 2017 made money because what we did is we placed actually with so it didn't even have to work for it, right? So you actually put money into these investment funds yep. between Cyton or any other licensed fund manager. Correct. And guess what? Your money was making money for you, whether it's an election year or not. So that's what people need to be remembering that you always have to be constantly investing mm. and so that when there's downtown, your money still makes money for you. And if I can add something to sure. that, I'd say during these tough periods, you find that market sentiment is quite low and the prices are quite cheap. Prices are, market valuations are quite cheap. Banks are trading or public financial services stocks are trading at um, below par or where mm. they are usually trading because market is, um, is quite stagnant. So you yeah. find that's the best um, point to come and enter and buy at those low prices mm -hmm. and wait for markets to recover, then sell them off at the higher uh, price. So these are market opportunities that we're just looking at and people are uh, not investing in. Okay, good. Any last motivational thoughts you can share with me that is money related? For me, for all our clients, we always say at Regal Africa that we encourage people to map their lives. One. The first thing about MAP, which is M-A-P-E, is you need to change your mindset. A lot of people have this lack mentality that there's lack. no money, right? There's money. And there's abundance and there's opportunity. I mean, you yes. were talking about Spot Spesa. That's a great way. I think betting is not a good thing, mm. but it was a good business idea that they came up with. That's so there's right. opportunity out there, but we have to change our mindset and know, and I always tell this to young people, find interesting and innovative ways of making money, and it's out there. Once you change your mindset, then it's good to go in with professionals, advisors who can advise you and work with you on this wealth journey. Once you have an advisor, always have a plan. If you don't have a plan about what you need to be doing, then there's no way you'll achieve your financial goals. That's right. But beyond planning, you have to execute. Wow. If you don't execute, then your plan was basically irrelevant. Yeah, I'd conquer the opportunities are there. There are many. Um, apart from the traditional ones, you have the alternative investments and there's 
uh, currently the penetration rate probably in the alternative investment segment is around 5%, which is quite low compared to other developed countries. So the opportunities are there, the returns are there. It's only finding the right opportunity. Awesome. Good to have you in studio. Thank, Thank you. you for I having appreciate. Us. I would like you guys to come back because when it comes to money, it goes beyond accounting and receipts. Yeah. By the way, I've got a bunch of receipts from the previous year that I need to um, write down, and I can tell you the figures have gone lower than they were in the previous year. Okay. I'm